Miniface, Daisy Podcast, Pandemonium, Fetless Faction Village Servers, Atlas, MGA, Vanilla the Mouse, One Original Daisy Servers, Dust Vanilla Servers, Sheriff Line, Apocalypse Now Server, Sour Kraut, Sergeant Purpose Daisy Invasion Server, and PGC Servers for making this video possible. Daisy 1.23 has massively changed how Northwest Airfield will be looked at by the Daisy community, not only because nearly everything here has changed, but because of the huge incentives we have to go to the airfield to get some of the freest loot available in the game. So in this video, we're going to go over every single change of the airfield and explain why supply crates are god tier. <laughs> Going over every single change at Northwest Airfield, we're going to start on the southwestern side of the airfield down here. Both areas here have been greatly downsized due to the taxiway being brought away from the runway. This part here has been stretched down, but so has the outer wall on the outside here, splitting these two areas with a forested area instead of a wall. The barracks area saw the biggest changes on the airfield pretty much being unrecognisable now and looking much more like a main entrance with this new monument here. This area has far fewer buildings making it more open and provides a lot of oversight with these two tall admin buildings. The rest of the area is industrial but spawns military loot here so this area will be military loot still and again is very open with fuel pumps being towards the forest side. On the other side of the forest, the complexity and number of buildings has been greatly reduced. It's no longer a spaghetti junction of concrete here, making this part of the airfield barely worth visiting because there's only a few buildings in the middle and acting more of a route to pass through to other parts of the airfield instead. I can imagine most players will pass through this forested area to the south that has been expanded into due to the taxiway being pushed over, so all of the concrete has been pushed over too, but there is now a hangar tucked away in this forested area here. On this side of the airfield, this forested area will be travelled through the most because this area in the middle is completely flat now. Many trees, bushes, random objects and hills have been completely removed from this area, making it incredibly open compared to what it once was. This area is going to be dangerous to be in now. Finally, for the south side of the airfield, there is a new rock formation to the north of this area with a road circling around this rock formation into the vehicle wreck area, which didn't see any changes. So this vehicle wreck area hasn't changed, but this rock formation and road has been added next to it. The biggest change to the runway area, other than the southern taxiway being moved south, like I mentioned earlier, is how there's two gaps spanning across this grass strip instead of five. These grass areas have also been completely flattened like the previous area with many obstacles and bushes being removed. So if you're inside this area, you're probably going to die. And if you see somebody in this area, that's definitely bait. When you get knocked unconscious for being in the middle of the airfield, you'll wake up to a nice new texture with the concrete extended parts at the end of the runway being removed on both the sides and the plane being moved from the north side of the airfield on the strip to the middle of the strip in this grass area. The north side of the airfield here saw the most changes this patch, starting with how the construction site has been completely eaten by this northern forest. Instead, the concrete has been squeezed down into this new military area, and the reason I'm calling it a military area, even though it had a barracks building, is because it now has a camo building here, so this is going to be a good area to loot, with a junkyard next to it being removed as well, creating a lot of open space in this area too, but the assault course next to it has stayed completely intact. Next to the unchanged assault course, the firing range has been rotated and redesigned along with the forest area being expanded. So from the construction site where it used to be, this forest area will expand all the way into the centre of the northern side of the airfield. Just an FYI here, this is not a new road. Roads, for some reason in this patch, show up from further away. I'm not sure if it's my settings or not. So like in the last patch, this road would lead to the centre of the north side of the airfield, which is now the largest concrete area here, apart from the runway of course, housing this large hangar building that has been rotated and medical tents have been placed inside. Next to here is a nice surprise military tent area, which more than makes up for how the camo building next to the ATC has been removed. This whole area is now incredibly open due to the removal of this camo building and the wall behind it and many of the walls and fences and obstacles and bushes and trees in this area. It's all much more open making all the rooftops on the north side visible from nearly every other rooftop and making it much more difficult to roam through this area without being seen. Four warehouses that were from Livonia have been added to Cherneris, so this is the first time that we've seen this particular warehouse on Cherneris, and these two silos and the water reservoirs have been moved towards the runway to open up this area a bit more, towards where the new fire station is too. This redesigned fire station is exactly the same as the previous version, but the infected can now climb the stairs, which is great, with both military and fire loot spawning in this area. One of the biggest changes on the north side is how this central northern industrial area has been squashed down dramatically. So much concrete has been replaced with grass and trees, making this area again difficult to go through without being seen from the rooftops, of which there are now two more rooftops in the northern area. 
One such roof is where the camo building used to be at this checkpoint to the north and it's been replaced with an industrial building which not only has a ladder on it to get to the roof but also has this scaffolding that you can climb up to get onto the roof too and this guard house on the other side of this checkpoint area has been turned into the tizzy building which is very easy to get to the roof on but doesn't have a bunker down below. Similarly, on the north side, this area has much more nature and a lot less concrete and loads of buildings have been removed as you can see here. And even the hangar in the center here has been completely removed, so this area has been flattened. This was the only hangar to be removed and technically it wasn't removed, it was just moved to the south side of the airfield in the forested area that I spoke about earlier. All other hangars are in the exact same location across the airfield. Note though that a few of these hangars now have their doors completely closed, so that means that the back entrance is the only way to get in, making it easier to fortify these locations. Finally for this area, the military tent saw no changes, but the dragon's teeth near here, these concrete spiky things, they've been removed from the strip completely, I couldn't find them anywhere, and the radar dishes on the south side have been moved to the north side over here. The only changes to the north hill, which is up here from the airfield, is a redesigned camera building, so this whole area is exactly the same. This redesigned camera building, and technically this tree here, has been moved. It's much more fortified, you have access to the roof from the rear on the scaffolding again, which does have some loot, so it is worth looting up here if you're willing to expose yourself. This building appears to spawn loot that spawns in general military areas, so I don't believe anything out of the ordinary will spawn here, probably tier 3 military loot, but given its external fortifications and the bunker area underneath, it would likely make a good base location for people that don't mind being raided. The walls and ceilings cannot be shot through, acting very much like the Tizzy Bunker, which has the exact same floor plan too. This window isn't here, but you have a jail cell instead in this area. Once you lock this door, by the way, with a lockpick, the only way to unlock it is with a lockpick. As for a quick list of smaller changes and easter eggs, the reskinned fire station has a model of the monument inside it, so on the desk here you can see the monument, and the monument itself has a teddy bear inside the cockpit, but you can't loot this. The old ATC building in the alpha version of the game used to be in the centre of the airfield in this location, it's now a ruin, and the old compound area on the hill is now a ruin too. The well is here as well, but you can't use it. There are more ruins in the centre on the north side here near these trees, but I'm not sure if this is an easter egg or not, or just some ruins. And finally, the runway texture change has also been applied to North East Airfield, with the numbers changing here too, within makeshift barracks or medical area inside the hangar area. One of the biggest changes that will draw players to Northwest Airfield is the addition of these supply crates which hold some unskippable loot compared to other locations in DayZ. There are three types of supply crate, ration crates that spawn all types of drinks in the game. I'm not sure if these are going to spawn food in the future, but for now the soda cans, canteen and water bottle can easily be found here. Medical crates spawning medical clothing, NBC gear, gas masks and medicine like tablets can be found inside the clothing here too. And finally, military crates spawning a whole load of amazing military gear, with this crate being the main reason I believe players will come to Northwest Airfield in this patch. These military supply crates spawn gear exclusive to heli crash sites and military convoys in DayZ, minus the rifles and minus the ghillie pieces and a few other items as well, which means that the Vega drum mag, AKM drum mag, the 60 round Stanag and the night vision optics all spawn here, but the new DMR does not. Nine of these crates will spawn every 30 minutes if players are outside of 1000 meters of the supply crates and they all despawn and respawn together as you can see here. I'm not sure if these crates are always supposed to be here. I restarted my server 20 times and they were always here, but in one case I found that they weren't here, so there could be a chance for none of these to be here at all. An average of three of these will spawn each time, so three military, three medical and three ration crates, but sometimes there are more ration crates, sometimes more military, it seems to be completely random, but they will all spawn between four and eight items each, so at each of the supply crates, four to eight items, which means a minimum of 36 items just from the crates. Inside the redesigned plane you'll find military equipment and inside the new fire truck wrecks is fire, medical and military equipment too. So there's a huge amount of loot in this area. It will be heavily camped. It's in the middle of a flattened airfield. There's so many places you can be shot from. It's dangerous to go here but the rewards are very good. Because these military supply crates spawn these free magazines they will be looted often as Vega mags are great for raiding. But the main reason I see players checking here every 30 minutes is for the night vision optics which appear to spawn quite frequently here. 
Now these numbers may all change as this frequent spawn rate could just be for testing on experimental only so I'll keep you guys up to date with any changes. Maybe I'll do a loot guide for this patch in the future. As for now, Northwest Airfield as a whole, what's your take on these changes and are you going to visit the airfield in this patch due to these changes? Are you going to try and loot these military crates? Get your opinion down below. And finally for this video of this weekend, the Apocalypse Now server is giving away up to $1,000 in cash event prizes with two spooky events including the Haunted Base Raid and the Maze of Horrors. For more details on how you can try and win, join the Apocalypse Now server on Xbox or its Discord using the link below. If you want to learn more about the new god tier DMR, this video is going to do you a good one. Or you can briefly learn about all the changes that are coming in this patch in this video here. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.